Hello guys, today we're going to see practical session on uh, HashiCorp Packer and then where we use uh, Ansible as a provisioner in the HashiCorp Packer and then uh, once it spits out the AMI ID, we use Terraform to provision EC2 instance, yeah? So before getting um, into practical session, uh, make sure that you've got AWS CLI configured. If you don't know how to configure AWS CLI, I'm gonna keep the a link in the description I've made a video how to configure uh, AWS CLI yeah so before getting into the practical session let's make sure that uh, there's no AMI here in my AWS account um, and then here is the uh, uh, github uh, URL where uh, I've, uh, I've written the code and then I kept it I mean of course I've referred uh, some of other codes and uh, um, the app that I'm gonna use uh, in this session is not belong to me it is somebody else's so I've just mentioned his um, uh, URL, uh, GitHub URL here. So this person's uh, app is this, yeah. So, uh, but then he, he written something in uh, uh, DigitalOcean. Uh, I've adopted uh, that into uh, AWS and uh, Terraform code has been uh, uh, really enhanced and a few other steps has been followed, yeah. So let's get into the action and so uh, I'm into this folder. Uh, so the, I've given instructions here what, what what uh, you guys need to do first thing you need to clone I've already cloned uh, uh, and then uh, you need to get into the folder and then uh, you, you you can start the process so here um, LS uh, I've got it cloned so CD packer so make sure you've got packer and then Terraform installed um, in your laptop uh, or maybe the desktop whatever you're using and also make sure you've got AWS CLA configure like we've discussed uh, a couple minutes ago. So first uh, um, thing is like um, a packer uh, build template JSON. So if you use, um, it'll actually build the uh, AMI and then at the end of that, it will spit out the AMI ID. So I'm gonna use time command so that it, it'll actually tell you how long uh, it has taken to build the image. Yeah, so I'm gonna pass the video because it's gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna just enter that and then I'm gonna pass the video. So I'm passing the video now because it's gonna take about nine minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, you will get to know end of this command execution. Uh, if you see here, uh, it's gonna execute the step-by-step -step process. Uh, I'm, I'm before, uh, while it's getting executed, I'm just, uh, I'll just walk you through the JSON file. And then this is, um, I, mean, I haven't used variables uh, for the credentials. Uh, that is why I've said uh, to configure the AWS CLI, you see. It directly takes these things and um, here I've used a couple of scripts uh, it will first install Ansible and then after it will actually use uh, this Ansible folder has some of those Ansible roles and it will deploy those Ansible uh, roles and after that it actually cleans up um, uh, everything and then it, it spits out the AMI ID so you can use the AMI ID directly and then use your um, uh, Terraform script to provision but then I've uh, I uh, used uh, the filter, so which I'm gonna discuss in a while. Um, let's just uh, wait for this uh, to get completed. Uh, I'll be uh, back with you shortly. So it has just completed and then um, so because we've used time uh, just before the command, it has set. So it has taken about uh, five and a half minute to complete. Um, if you just uh, walk through the process, what it does was like, um, uh, the pro it started the instance, uh, it started an AWS instance and it executed this Ansible uh, content. Once this has been all done, it stopped the execution of that particular instance and then it created image out of it. Once the image has been created successfully, it deleted the instance which is it has created. This is generic the pro, generic process of creating an image even if you're doing it manually, but the packer simplifies uh, uh, the process. So uh, we've got it, everything ready, uh, but now, I've made uh, my Terraform content to pick this uh, particular AMI. Uh, by default, um, you don't really have to mention anything. It, it, it just picks it automatically based on the name and other things. If you uh, just go through, this is Terraform uh, code. So this data block has actually um, uh, dynamically picks up the content. And the only thing, because I've given the name of the AMI is this, and then um, this is all, uh, uh, filters, but um, only this will change from um, uh, my account to uh, your account. If you want to know uh, uh, Get color identity you can execute. Uh, so AWS uh, Sorry 
So basically, um, this is the command. Um, if you have JQ, if you don't have JQ, uh, it'll just be uh, giving a normal text. If you have JQ, it'll just give you the color text, which is uh, you can easily identify that. Um, um, you can also do hyphen R and other things. Uh, you can just copy this and then paste it um, in this file, and that is it. Uh, save that and then execute. So that is it. You, you're good to go. So what I'm gonna do now? Uh, CD Terraform. I'm getting into the Terraform folder, and then Terraform in it. Terraform up uh, plan. Terraform apply. Auto, um, auto approve, yeah. So if you just um, execute this command, it actually picks up the AMI by itself, and then it it will give you the public IP, and it also give you the URL um, uh, where you can access the, um, the application. It should take about a minute or so, and then once this is all done, it spits out some uh, outputs. Um, it, so you can use those outputs. I'm just passing the video for the, about 30 seconds or whatever. So Terraform has executed uh, everything successfully and then you can find your URL here. This is the public IP of the instance which has been created. Yeah, let's get into the AWS console to see if something has been already created. See, uh, earlier when we've checked this was empty and then if I just refresh, so that could reappear. So this is what the name that we've given. And uh, so one instance must have been created and then stopped. You should see the instance which is terminated. Uh, so this has been an instance which is terminated and this is instance which actually created. Okay, so there's some problem with the instance, but it's okay. Let's get into it and see. So you can see, uh, so basically instead of creating a server and then installing a software, We've just created a, a image and image with the software and then actually using Terraform to provision this actually uh, simplifies the process and you don't have to um, live with a world server and then keeping a lot of software, software every release. So instead of that, you can use Packet to build the AMI and then it's very, very simple to provision uh, instance with Terraform. That is it uh, for today. Um, I think I'm gonna, uh, okay, let's just, uh, show you the process of destroying so I, I've, I've given the nodes to destroy here so if you wanted to get into again um, uh, you can just say terraform destroy here terraform destroy auto approve so this will actually destroy the instance once the instance is destroyed uh, make sure that you you also should be destroying uh, um, the image or AMI that you've created in the AWS console, otherwise you incur charges. So all of the components of the VPC and all, everything has been uh, removed and uh, so you could see that destroy, destroy complete. Uh, let's just go um, deregister the AMI and then see you can, de you can pretty much do it with the console, uh, which is like, uh, so if you refresh it should uh, be terminated. Yes, it's been terminated. You can just pretty much go um, uh, deregister here, and once it, it's been deregistered, you can just go to snapshots, uh, and then you can actually delete it from here. So uh, this is what we can do with the manually, but then uh, I've given the commands, AWS commands here. Uh, you can pretty much execute these commands uh, with this image ID and other things, so that it will be, um, uh, be done uh, by itself. You don't have to log into the console. See, everything has been cleaned up. So this is it uh, for today and happy learning. Um, see you in uh, other video. Bye.